what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Now that Bernie Sanders has dropped out of the race, the heat is on for Joe Biden to pick a running mate soon so that he can generate some much needed media attention and fundraising while in the middle of this global pandemic. So Phil Nelson, who writes for The Blast, is a black woman who believes that Joe Biden, without question, should pick a black woman as his running mate. Here's the point she made. She said that when Barack Obama secured the nomination for president of the United States of America in 2008, he chose the older, wiser, gray-haired, white male senior senator from Delaware, Joe Biden. Although Biden was not the exciting choice, he was the right choice for the young black nominee. Obama was going to be the nation's first black executive. He needed to reassure those nervous about history's choice that he would have someone safe and known to the public by his side. She said, now Biden needs to send the opposite signal, that it's time for America to trust a woman who represents the backbone of the Democratic Party with the vice presidency. One who is ready on day one, if need be, to serve as president. Now, who could that possibly be? According to Sophia, she thinks that Kamala Harris should be given a shot. While she admitted that Senator Kamala Harris wouldn't get him anything electorally, she would deliver something Biden must have in 2020, the intense and energized black vote that eluded Hillary Clinton in 2016. She noted that she's a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Inc. with a powerful army of more than 300,000 members worldwide who could help her raise money and be foot soldiers on the ground. Another strong choice electorally and along color lines is Florida Rep Val Demings, who served as House impeachment manager during the Trump impeachment. She too could produce the excitement and help Biden compete for Florida, a state that Trump cannot afford to lose, according to Sophia. In regards to Stacey Abrams, she said there's one big reason why she wouldn't put her in the hunt, and that is because she hasn't been vetted nationally by a nosy, aggressive, and often rough national press corps. Harris, Demons, and other possible candidates are federal office holders. They've been vetted. Biden has made it clear he wants no hiccups or surprises. And a 43-year-old woman of color who currently holds no public office and lost her only statewide race would be a big leap for the country to accept as someone ready for presidency on day one. Most of what Sophia says makes sense, especially with the part where Barack Obama went and got Biden to make people comfortable, you know. I get all of that. And Biden has to pick a running mate that can help him get votes that he can't get. And at the same time, make his people feel comfortable enough that if something was to happen to him, they'd be cool with that person being president. Kamala Harris is a liability. People are not going to forget what she did as a prosecutor in San Francisco and attorney general in California. That's not going away. Now, Demings, I don't know a lot about, but Abrams, I can tell you, would be a liability also because she lost and people don't like losers. I'm not saying she's a loser as a person, but she lost that race for governor. That was a big deal. And people will probably remember that when they're thinking about who they're going to vote for. People want to vote for people who they believe is electable. You dig what I'm saying? Who can win? They want to vote for winners. Having said that, all of this could be a waste of time because Joe Biden is a liability himself. That 1994 crime bill is going to come back to bite him directly in the ass. I can guarantee you. It's no way possible he'll be able to do all of that damage and get away unscathed. I don't believe it.
I do believe that a number of black people are going to stay home on this one. And I wouldn't blame them. No more talk. What the haters talking about?